Hey guys, welcome back into the Odd Shopper YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Ulrich, and in this video, we're going to be bringing you some NBA picks for No House Advantage. And in this video, we're going to be talking specifically about their versus the house contest. If you are new to No House Advantage, there's a couple different ways to play there. There's their versus the house contest where we're going to be creating parlay style multiplier big tickets, you know, looking for those big payouts. No House Advantage has some of the biggest payouts in terms of just pure parlays that you can find uh, around the industry there's also their pick them contest where you're creating prop, prop based style lineups putting them in big contests against other people so you can check all those out for this video we're going to be uh, focused in on the props for their versus the house contest and if you're new to to uh, no house advantage as well you can use promo code stochastic when you're signing up there that's going to give you a 50 dollars match deposit bonus right off the top so promo code stochastic deposit 50 dollars, get a free 50 dollars in return it's just a nice way to build a bankroll, nice way to try out the site as well. And there's a lot of different ways you can play. Do me a favor, guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube channel if you could. We've got a lot of great videos here across all the different sports. And for Nos Advantage too, we do put up free projections on stochastic.com, the sister site. So you can check that out after this video as well. But for this Friday, November the 4th, we got... A lot of NBA games to get to, and we're going to get into those right now. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to go over basically four my four favorite plays for No House Advantage. Again, really talking about the uh, the versus the house side of the site right now and uh, in this video. So we're going to start. We're going to start with Cade Cunningham. We're going to go over 21.5 points on Cade Cunningham. Now, he has gone over this total in four of his last five games. Cunningham's just seen a little bit of increased uh, usage, a little bit of increased Kind of just in fish efficiency throughout his, his scoring really throughout all of his stats this year he's still playing big minutes and one reason why i like the spot for him to go over he did only play about 30 minutes in his last game that was one of his lowest minute totals of the season so you know he's not overly fatigued or anything it's still early in the year and he's coming off an easier game just in terms of usage i like that i like targeting nba players coming off a slower game you get that quick bounce back the, the coach in his mind says there's no minutes limitation here for my, one of my highest usage players. Got a close point spread as well. Uh, you know, the, the Pistons are obviously underdogs against the Cavs by six points, but six points, we're still talking about a pretty close point spread. I expect Cunningham to be out there late into the game, so that's good. Cavaliers also banged up. A couple of their guards perhaps questionable for tonight. Never a bad thing. So you can even see that line switch, make it even more favorable in our in our, um, in our our direction here as well for an over on Cunningham. But um, even though it's a bit of a tougher matchup, I'm going to ride the momentum here with Cade Cunningham. Again, we have a pretty strong projection on him here as well. And for the for the no house advantage, again, for versus the house, the points prop something I'm interested in. So we're going to start with an over on Cade Cunningham. Again, been playing well, uh, increased efficiency, and just coming off a slower game. So I think it should lead to more minutes tonight. We're going to go with an over on another player I like for our second pick here too. We're going to go Kyle Kuzma over 16.5 points. And this one I really like. This is probably my favorite play. Well, definitely. I mean, I like all these plays, but this is probably my, my let me put it top two of the four. Let's just go there. But they're, they're playing the Brooklyn Nets. Six most points allowed this year by Brooklyn. Just not a good defensive team. So giving up points. So it's a good matchup right off the top as well for Kuzma. He's been consistent this year. He's kind of just in his normal role. But if you look at all of his stats, everything's just kind of slightly up. The field goal attempts, slightly up. The make percentage, slightly up. We don't have huge increases for Kuzma. He's not doing anything you know, immensely better, but he's just a little bit more efficient. He did average 17.1 points last year, and he's over that pace this year. And we only have a 16.5 point prop up for him on no house advantage in a good matchup in a close point spread with a good game total. I see no reason not to go over Kyle Kuzma 16.5 points. We have this projected as a strong over as well. Really one of the strongest here on the slate. Uh, I just like Kuzma as a player. He does everything. He's going to be out there. And it's just a good matchup. His point totals can be a little variable, but I think when we're getting a 16.5 prop right now with the way Kuzma has been playing, again, there's no change from last year. If anything, he's just increased the efficiency a bit. Let's go over 16.5 points for Kuzma up against the Nets. Let's take an under here for our third pick. Let's, let's go to Zach Levine. He's got a 22.5 point prop up. This isn't too big for Zach Levine, but it is getting in that territory. We got to start thinking about fading him. 
And realistically, he's playing the Celtics here. Uh, obviously, just one of the better defensive teams in the NBA. Just a, a solid team all around. So, you know, you look at that right off the top, maybe just not the greatest spot that we want to start taking overs on any of the Bulls players. And you look at what Levine has done against the Celtics as well in his career. Hasn't really been that good. He's averaged well under this total. Um, he's averaged about 19.5 points against the Celtics in his career, to be honest. So it's well under the 22.5. You look at what he's done, Come coming back from uh, a little bit of injury, obviously the slow start to the year. His field goal percentage over the last few games really hasn't been good. He got to the over in one game, but he had to attempt a bunch of shots to get there. Uh, had 29 points, and it was against the Nets as well. Needed over 20 field goal attempts to get there. Uh, hasn't been that great from three-point land either. You know, two of seven, two of nine. So I'm looking at Zach Levine in a bad matchup here with a point prop of 22.5. That's something I want to fade. I think that the Celtics are probably going to keep a cap on him like they have in the past. Tough, tough guard matchup really for anyone here. So Zach Levine, uh, 22.5. That's going to be our underplay of the night for sure. Again, I just don't like targeting overs against the Celtics unless it's maybe another elite team or something. But uh, Zach Levine, I think a good under target for tonight. Let's end with one more over though. We got Buddy Heald here on the slate. Uh, we've got the Pacers going up against the Miami Heat. This is a pretty close point spread as well. Pacers are underdogs here, but healed uh, in a spot against the Miami defense who they've allowed the second most three point pointers uh, made in the league so far. So they're really not good at covering the arc. You got Buddy Heald who has attempted 33 pointers now over his last three games. Pacers obviously playing a little bit more high tempo. You got Halliburton feeding him the ball. Uh, I just see no reason really not to good to go not to take the over on Buddy Heald with the pace he's on. He got a 3.5 three point prop up for Buddy Heald. Let's take it. I'm going to go over here. He's playing big minutes. Pacers really don't have uh, any option but to throw him out there for big minutes. And when he's been out there, he's just been given the green light to start chucking it. So um, I, I think that in the matchup with the Heat here, you're probably going to see Heald just increase that efficiency from beyond the arc as well. So many ways we can get there. If he takes another 10 or 11 shots, probably going to get to the over. But realistically, I mean, Heald could go three for or four for five as well or something like that. So Buddy Heald over 3.5 uh, three-point attempts. Obviously, once we get to the 3.5 mark for, for threes, you got to start thinking a little bit about laying off or maybe even going under. But I think it's a special spot. Buddy Heald been throwing so many shots up in a really good matchup. I do like the over here. Haven't projected for, you know, just as a slight over too. So those are going to be our four picks here for this slate. We're going to go Cade Cunningham over 21.5 points. Like the usage there. Kyle Kuzma over 16.5 points. Again, just a slightly increased across the board there for Kuzma this year. We're going to go under Zach Levine, 22.5 points. Just like fading those guards against the Celtics. And we're going to go Buddy Heald over 3.5 three-pointers made. Again, this guy is just chucking up threes at an insane rate right now. So those are going to be our four picks. Again, if you're new to know this advantage, you can use promo code Stochastic to sign up there. $50 match deposit bonus uh, on the site when you do that. You can check out Odd Shop or YouTube channel. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe to it if you haven't done it already. Lots of more great videos here we got available, guys, across all the different sports. My name is Jeff Ulrich. Hope you have a great Friday NBA action. We'll talk to you in soon.